Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Monday edition of JC3D, Garfield's favorite day of the week. It's June 13th at 9.19 a.m. Today what I'm going to do for you is 3D model a staple gun. So let's jump right into it. I'm just going to start out with a couple of platonic shapes that I see right away. These little squish spheres right here. So you can make those a couple of ways. There's a uh, an oil tank. It's not a horrible way to do it. Go like this, then get it nice like that. And then what I'm going to do is current state that to an object like this. I'm going to go into point mode up here. And then I'm going to delete. Well, I could delete these or scale them down. I guess what I'll do is just scale this down to zero right here. Like that. And I'll bring this up to here. Up to there. Up to there. I'm just going to bring this up close so I can squish it all down. I'll take that and squish it down even more. Let's tuck that right there. I'm going to go back into the object mode right here. I'll rotate this thing. But I'll lift the null up here. So now this is kind of like the new center point like that. Turn that off and you can rotate and manipulate the object like this. Boom. Scale that down a little bit. And then move that over here. And just zip it up to match the size like that. Boom, boom, boom. Then you can make a null, I mean an instance of that. It's just like a copy. Because these are all probably the same thing. Looks like it so far. Happy fist. Boom. Alright, there's a screw right there. I'm just going to see if I have a screw. I'm going to go in here. That kind of looks like that one. I'm just going to grab that. Bring that down here and zip it up. Rotate this over. Copy that down. Rotate it to match that like that a little bit better. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take these and move them out. About like there. And I'll grab a symmetry right here. Put all this underneath. Um, one null, grab the symmetry tool right here, put all of them under that, and it's going to mirror them over to the other side. <coughs> Alright, so now let's go in and take a look at some more of this. This right here looks like a pretty good candidate for the polygon tool, I'm thinking. So I'm just going to jump right into it. I'll filter out these, the work plane and the world axes here. And then I'm just going to make sure I've got nothing selected over there. Just click anywhere in the gray in that uh, object manager there it'll you know deselect anything you've got so then what I'm gonna do is go down here I'm in object mode up here this little icon right there is the polygon pen click that and then I'll start making polygons boom you can change the view here so that it's like that Uh, 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 do, do, do. Anchor down there. I'll go and flatten those out after. Boom. Do 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 do. Okay, so I'm just going around here looking at this. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. And then you go down here, grab this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and that. Okay, so that's going to be that shape there. Now I'm just going to straighten some stuff out. 
grab this over here take that all those want to be straight up and down so that's that one this one here is going to be on a straight sideways so that's oops this one same with these you only want to select the ones that are in that same row because you're zipping them down to zero these make sense to me to go like that this guy here these guys This one. Da, 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 da. And that looks pretty good, right? Is that going over there? Boom. Alright. This could be close enough for government work. Boom. Alright, so then what you do is I'm going to wrap this around. So go to your front view and. I'm going to go to my polygon pen tool, and I'm in object mode up there. Don't want to be in that point mode. So I go back to the tool. Nah, I'm actually going to go back into point mode. Click this right here. And then, actually, you know what? You see these need to move over a little bit, so I'm going to select all those. That was just a con command A. Selected all those points. I'm going to move it over here like that. Or, you know, it looks actually like this guide right here. That's hard to say. It's sort of centered here with the middles and that, so I'll have to be aware of that. But I guess this is an okay spot. About one cube over or so. Alright, so pop that underneath that symmetry up there like this. Boom, you're going to get that. Now go back into the polygon tool. Right there. Click that point down there. Now that's hooked, but you can go over to this view right here. And go like this. And then you see this point here, wants to be right there, so you go up to here. That, and like that. Then what I'm going to do, I'll turn off this for now. Maybe um, hide everything but this. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go up here. Grab these. This will be about right there. Uh, make sure I get the point right now. I could do that up here in 3D. Might help a little bit. Boom. Double click it. Then we'll go grab the next one. Boom. 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 And boom. And this guy. Whoops. Making our way up. Alright, then I just want to grab those points right there because I was kind of willy nilly. Just grab those, zero out the X in position and in scale, and then that puts it perfectly in the middle so that when you turn this on, that's actually working how you'd want it. Okay, so let's see now. There's some more detail in this thing, but this is just this one layer right here. So, usually what you got to do here is I'm going to put this under its own symmetry so I can play with it up here. And I'm going to put a subdivision surface, and it's probably going to screw it up right away and make it a little too roundy here and there. Actually, no, it's not too bad. But you see, you get like a round right there. So, what you do is you go in here and you go to your mesh cut loop path cut tool, and you just add a cut right there. Boom. And you can put another one here, you know, but then it's going to add some more detail up there, so you got to be aware of that. But say, like, if you did this, you get a little pinch up there. Now that may be okay. Yeah, I think that is okay. And then, like, right across through here, for example. Now you see that this loop path tool, sometimes it's not the best one. Um, this right here looks a little problematic to me because, see, it's going over to this guy. So, I might want to cut that down here on this side. Let's see if that works. Oop. Maybe, I mean, what you want is to get that over here. So, maybe I cut this one here. Alrighty. And then this one here. Did a little bit of some kind of a funky little bend right there, right? So. 
Let's see. De -de 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 -de. That's this one. Let me see if I just can get rid of that a little bit. Oops. So I'm just going to my selector tool here, selecting this and this and this. These are these lines. If you turn this off, you can see them a little better. Then I'm just going to right click like this and go stitch and sew. And I'll kind of get rid of one of those and I can take a look at it. Still has that little bump right there. So I guess that, that wasn't it. It must have been this one down here I did. I'll come back to that if it ends up being an issue. Let's see, so you've got, this guide here is a little bit off, because see, we went up to here, and this one's just like that, so I'm gonna try to change that, so let's see. Let me change the scale. So we're gonna go to configure, and let's see, just thinking here for a second. <laughs> I think before I do that, yeah, hang on one sec. Before I do that, I think I'm just going to do this right here. So let me group all this, hide it. If you've got stuff in there and you want to flush it out, just go like that. You hold down c control, and it'll do all of them the way you're doing it, and then hide it, and you won't have any children that have the green light on that makes them visible. Okay, so... Let's see here. I'm going to do this right here. Polygon pen, make a new object, make sure nothing's selected. Boom. Here to here. There to there. And I'm just keeping these here because I'm going to extrude those out after. Whoops. Let me make sure I hit the point. straighten some stuff out. I'm going to go up here and grab this and this. So all of this right here. I'm going to scale that in X. Oops, that must not be the right one. Z, sorry. And it scales over here. Same with this one. Zero. These want to be zeroed on the Y like that. Boom, boom, boom. Like so. And the bottom one. And the top one. Alright. That looks pretty good, I think. Now, just straighten these out. So say like if I get one of these that I like. What I'll do sometimes is... Take the whole object and copy it and paste it and grab everything and just bring it down to this guy. Like that. And then we go into wireframe. And then grab the original guy here and get his points. And just kind of match him to this one. If I can't see my points, I'll do like a select all. So you can see these two guides are pretty far out because of the distortion in the camera there. But. Kind of like match it like that. Now that seems really far out, but they must be the same. So I'm going to go with that. Let's see what we got here. Boom, boom. Look at that one. Now this one will move over ever so slightly. And this will tuck in. Okay, so that's going to have that same effect on these guys. I can make a, a temporary color here to try to see this a little bit better. There we go. Okay. 
da -da, da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna try to center it with this guy right here a little bit more, like so, like that. Maybe this guy is like centered a little bit more with this. The guides really kind of throw it off because your camera lens distorts it. So that's the tricky part, but we're gonna get pretty close. So let's see, go like this, turn everything off, add the front. Now you can add the front rather than that polygon pen tool, you can just go like this, hit the hockey D, move it a little bit, and then move it over like that. But you're gonna want to go in and flatten everything out like this. On the Z looks like it's flat, but here on the X, I want that to be like that. And you can just copy this guy or make a null. This could be a child, and you can have multiple objects. Like that. Alright. Now I'm just trying to think how I'm going to um, give it this shape right here. See, so it's got this 3D bevel. Right now, we're kind of both of them are sort of 2D plainy. So, um,. Let's see. I think what I'm going to try to do is copy this. Then I'll take this guy here, select the plane with the hockey D. So I just did the hockey D and I hit it twice. And I got this these bevels going around the whole thing. Now I might have wanted to subdivide it before I did that because see how the top's a little bit round? So we'll just take it back. Um, we'll do that on the original down here. So I'm going to go and hit the knife tool right here. You're going to go mesh, cut, loop path, cut tool. You hold the top there like that. And then it's going to go from round to flatter. And did that get the whole thing? Oh, you know what? I didn't put a top on that. So hang on one second. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to my polygon pen tool to do this. Point mode. Boom, I'll grab this one, that one, that one, and this one. Like this. Now you want those to be on the zero. So you zero the scale and then zero the position of the points like that. Now I'm going to go do that cut again. Right here cut loop path cut tool I'm gonna hover over the top like this if uh, it'll let me oh I think it thinks I'm still in polygon pen draw mode so let me just flush that out go back in there do that one more time cut loop path cut okay get up near the top like that uh, it seems as though this one here should come back and be the same as this like that so I'll grab the two like that and zero them out in the depth okay so now it's back to the bottom I should probably grab that too turn this stuff off here whoops all right so I'm gonna just do another little uh, cut loop path cut right down here flatten that out right there a little bit better all right now I'm gonna go into here and I'm just gonna make a copy of this because I'm gonna merge it after because when you do this it gets rid of this wall like watch if I hide that one and I'm here I select everything and do the hockey D twice again so there's one two now what that does is the back's gone so you turn this back on like that and you get the back back. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. I think that's going to work. So let me connect these two like this. Connect objects and delete. Boom. There we go. Okay, now see that thing right there? little funky all you got to do to get rid of that clean it up just hover over that grab that and hit delete and you're good to go 
Those are just some polygons that you created on the inside there because it gets confused as it's extruding. It puts a couple there in the center. And when it's symmetrying, it doesn't really know what to do. But now they're gone. All right, so pop this all back on here. We're going to do the same thing for this one. So this one won't be so much. So take this, copy it, hit this one right here. Not sure what I was just talking about a second ago. Hit the hotkey D twice. Now, if I turn off the symmetry, if you look right here, there's these planes right there in the center. Well, that is because I was extruding, just like it puts one over here and up here and around. It does it in there too. But for a symmetry, that's not not very good because you turn that on, it it doesn't really know how to take care of that. So you got to delete that that plane right there. So you take that like that and delete it. Boom. Now I've got some funky stuff going on down here. I'm not exactly sure what's up with that. So, give me a second here. Let me take this back to here. I'll try to clean this up. Sometimes you can, it's flip flopped over itself. So if I turn this off, because I had the subdivision on, I might have done a move where it, it flip flopped over itself like that. So what you're gonna do is just grab that trouble point, bring it down. It looks like there's something else going on over here. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. That might do it. Let's see what we got. It's alright. I think. Well, I mean, it's still something there screwed up, but. Let me see. I'll try taking this like that. Just running a uh, iron. Do, 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 do. Move iron. too much but I don't know I'm still wrestling with that stinking thing but it's because of the way that I knifed it all up I guess but let's just see if now since I at least got rid of the cross over there maybe I'll be able to uh, fudge it hit the hockey D twice boom and then remember we're gonna go in here and delete these what I was just blabbing about before and now let's take a look at this thing so I think that might work. So now what I'm going to do is take these two here, merge them together, connect objects and delete. And then I'm thinking of just snugging this up a little. Like, uh, let's see, maybe a little ladder somehow. That doesn't look too good right here. But. Let's see. This little guy right there. Looks like he's kind of. Stuck. We'll just take this and move it out a little bit. Um. Not sure where my null is for that. Oh, I see. There we go. Move him out a little. It must be this guy here. One of them's not straight. Is it him? Let's see. Yeah, he's kind of straight. This one here seems like it could be a little bit screwed up. Take that and push it in just a little bit. Okay. Looks like that screw that I put in was backwards, so let me just fix that real quick. Is it backwards? No. No, it's not backwards. I just never moved it over. Okay. This 
guy here. I can actually delete some of this stuff because I think I'm not really going to see it. Okay. Now, let's see. Go for this shape right here. So, polygon pens have been working out pretty good, so I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm going to hide everything else so it's not distracting me. Boom. Zero this out again. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah, polygon pen. Move my way down here. Polygon pin. I guess the idea with this is you're kind of blocking it out. So, oops. Do, do, do. Whoops. Sometimes those ones always do that when you're trying to get to that close hole. So I always have to go like this. Go into the select mode and grab these. Whoops. I don't want to do that. Grab these guys and then bridge them. Bridge, where are you? Whoops. Bridge. And then you just grab one and draw a line through the other. Well, you see, you want to do it, so we do that. Boom. Okay. Now, throw that underneath the subdivision like that. We're going to see what it looks like. Okay, I got to add some to the front here, I think, right? Let me just take a look at uh, some of these other guides here. Hmm. It almost looks like it runs down all the way to here and then up out, but can't be certain of that. Um, well, let's just imagine it does. So, well, how would that work? Let's see. Um, grab these points so I can see them. And then what I can do is load it in here. I remember the the front's right here. So I'm going to go up here and do configure. Swap out a different picture. I'm going to put in um, this one. Rotate it. Negative 90. That, that puts the nose down there. And then... Oh, wait. Did I... Sorry. 90. There's the nose. All right, so what I'm going to do is just pull this over here so it lines up with this. And then you see this right here? I'm going to move that back because I think that was part of what I had going into the hidden part. So I'll just go like to here with that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this row right here like that and hit the hotkey D, move it out. But then I'll free move it like that to there. Then I'll hit the, the hotkey D again. It's going to move it somewhere, but then I'll freeform move it down to there. And that looks like that's where it lives, just like that. Now, I want to make sure this is flat, so I'm going to go up here and do this. Grab that and that. Zero that out in the Z, or the X, sorry. Like that. And, um, yeah, I think that should be cool. Okay, so now what we got to do is some of those cuts... So let's see what it looks like when I do this. So you see it rounds right there. So we know we want to cut on the top and the bottom for sure. So mesh cut, loop path cut. Love that one. Boom. And boom. Now this guy here, I think he might be okay. Maybe I need to put a couple here. Let's try putting them in the middle. 
Just holding shift down, it snaps right to the middle like that. Alrighty. Now what I will do is um, just take a look at this thing. I got it right over here. Um, so that piece goes in there and it goes up there. Up and around there. Oh, you know what? It's actually fused to this piece right here. So that was a little bit of a mistake. Is This piece right here is one and the same. This guy. No, not that guy. This guy right here. That guy. That's supposed to be merged with this guy. Alright. Yes. I believe that's correct. So, let me just check this out real quick. Um... I'm going to go here into this mode. Now, this might be a little bit tricky. So, what I'm going to try to do is, I don't know how long it's been since I saved. So, I'm going to save incremental and see if I get lucky right here. File, save incremental. Now, that preserves where I'm at, but I can go into my scene. I can look at this one and see, was this back in time before I had done all that extruding stuff? And it turns out it was not, fortunately. So, I guess it's not going to help me much. So I'm going to get rid of that. Go back into the present time here with this guy. Now turn all this off. Bring this up out of here. Okay, so I think what I need to do... Well, let's see extract this inner one here so let me just select that boom 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 luckily it's it's a pretty simple object here so it's not too bad like that now I'll do uh, select invert so everything that I have selected that's not selected will be selected you do that by hitting the hotkey U and then I and you see I says invert so that inverts the selection delete it now I'm back to that um, shape there that I'm looking for okay so now what I'm gonna try to do is combine this object and this object um, so let's take this and just get rid of these I think yeah Maybe I gotta get rid of this too. Are those okay. And then this is all gonna need to come over because I'm just gonna have to marry this these polygons right there. So here we go. Do, 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 do. Put that like that. Now I'm gonna mix merge the two like this. Instead of two meshes, there's now gonna be one. Connect objects and delete. And I'm going to connect these two somehow. So let's see. I think what I'll try to get away with here is... See, these kind of line up. I don't know about that, but... I'm going to try to connect that. I'll add a cut here and then see if I can just fill those holes. Um, so, you go up to here to Mesh. Cut. Loop Path Cut Tool. Grab that one there. Now what I'll try to do is... Weld these together. I'm going to keep the shape of these points. I don't care so much about these. So I'll go like this and hit Weld. And make that the main point. Hit the spacebar, grab some new ones, weld that. Spacebar, weld that. Whoops. Boom. Now what I will do is add a loop cut up here. Cut loop path cut so that it's like similar to this one. And then I'm gonna grab this. Whoops. Didn't mean to do another loop cut. I'm going to do that, 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 and that, and bridge them. I think this will work. Let's see if it works. Do I need to do this? Let's see if I have to select that too. Bridge. Boom. No. Bridge. Boom. And it doesn't really like that very much. Um, well, that might work. You know, if I do this, and then if I do a uh, loop cut right there, hold shift, then I can just 
grab these points here and weld them together. Weld and we'll go boom. Oh, you know what I want to? Yeah, I want to keep it here. Okay. See how lucky I get with this one. Down here. Like that. And that. Go for the bridge tool. Right there. Across. Now these two, you just go mesh, add, close polygon hole. Make sure you put this on grid and then it does it a little bit smarter. Theoretically, I just did a triangle though. Um, so let me go. See if I can restrict that to quads. Oof. All right. Well, let's just go for it. Sometimes the triangles are not the best. Like if I wanted to get rid of that triangle here and here, I'd have to add some subdivision there. I could get rid of this one pretty easy, but let's just roll with it and see how much trouble I get into. Um, to there to there. So here's my straight edge right here. So now I gotta go get that shape where it kind of poked out right there. So I'm gonna select all of these so I know where I'm at. Boom. Grab them all. And then I want to make sure that this um goes back. So what I'm gonna do is select all of these like this and just kind of move it back a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna. Add a loop path cut right here. So it'll let me. Like that. Select those points. Right there. Zero mount in the Z. The Z. Boom. And then grab the points in front, like this. And we're gonna move them out to there just a little bit. Alright. Boom, 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 bada boom. Now we got those two objects connected. Uh, what we're going to need to do now is well this part here comes out right a little bit so all of these right here that that you don't want that one right? nor that or that is that correct um, yeah, that seems about right. Like that. Let's grab that. Okay. Yeah, let's see how this goes. I'll take the hot key D. Meet, meet. Turn on the subdivision. Boom. Now what I want to do is grab this here. Select loop. That'll let me select the ring in there where the fingers go. Loop selection. Like this. Uh, I want to be in line mode, sorry. I think, yeah, like that. Now you hit the hotkey D. It's going to extrude that. And then you move it out like that. Now I'm going to put that scale it uh, and move it. It's already scaled zero, but I'm going to move it so it's in the center. That way, when you grab one of these symmetries, it closes the hole when it mirrors like that. Boom. All right, so. And I see this goes up here. I could add a cut right there. I might help that stay straight. You just see it's actually straight. But if, so if I got a, a cut, you can do a cut in a different way too, where you do a uh, line cut and you just want to turn off visible only and then you just can go like right through everything with one cut and instead of the loop path how it kind of curves finds the in-between average this will just go straight through like that now if I turn this on it might keep that flatter there yeah it did um, sort of looks funny here though but let's check that moving in All right, so then what I want to do is this piece here goes over the top and it hooks over. So I'm going to turn this off so I can see what I'm doing. Save this. I'll hide all this stuff down there. And it's this piece up here I want. So I'm going to go grab it all. Now it goes all the way to there where it goes straight up. This one. 
So grab all that and that little doohickey. And this, and it does go around the back. And it goes down, not all the way, but almost down to the bottom. To here, 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 here. And then that seems to be that spot. Okay. So this here, I'm, I've got my selection. You hit the hotkey D, move it a little bit. I don't move it a lot, I'll just move it a little bit like that, and then I'll, boom, zero it out. Turn these back on. Looks pretty good. It's a little tight there, you know, and the it's not exactly like that right here. That's because of some subdivision loop line cut thing I made, so let's go in here and see if I can make it a little better. the guide there seems pretty good this here could go up a little fun fact um, Harrison Ford was the doors roadie Harrison Ford if you're out there listening if you wouldn't mind commenting down there that'd be great then maybe this video could hit a couple million and if you're looking for a band to roadie for, why, um, we could get one going. Let's see. Do, 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 do. All righty. Looks all right. Let me see if I can straighten this out a little. On the Y. Grab these two. I grab the whole darn thing. Zip that on the Y. Wink. All right, that looks pretty good to me. I think. Let's take a look at everything. Kind of get a feel for it all. Now, got a really got a real big curve here, which is pretty bad. Doesn't really want to be like that. So. Let me just hide this stuff again and take a look at this. So if I want to get rid of that curve, what do I have to do? Put some cuts here. So loop path cut. Here. Here. Turn all that back on. It stays more square. Now the middle here looks a little screwed up. But as I actually look at this device, now it doesn't have it on the front. This front piece is covered. But the top actually does look quite a bit like this. These pieces back here. They actually, they actually want to have a line down the middle that I need to add that looks exactly like this. But that one there in the front's no good. So let me just do this and get rid of that. I'll make that better. All right. And now it looks like this is a little wide, doesn't it? You know, my overall stapler. But when I look at the one in my hand, it looks about the right size ish, so hard to say. But we could go in the middle. Um, select all the points. Just deselect these points. You know, if you're thinking it's too thick, then you can move everything in a little bit. Like so. And then maybe move the guide over. that and then see where we're at. that doesn't look so bad okay some funky stuff happened though right here so I'm gonna have to fix and what is that funky stuff that happened I think it's this center one here I don't think I moved over so select a loop loop selection gotta be in a line if you want to grab this one and you also have to just hover over the right magic spot so you see the X zero that out that should fix that Boom, I was crossing over. But now, remember we had that problem. Um, when you got, you want to add that line right here. 
So, let me turn this off. Take a look at all this. So, so now this has no thickness right here, but I think that I might be able to get some by going like this. And then hitting the hotkey D. Now I've made a copy, but I'll go down right with this one. Deselect these flat ones here. Whoops. Deselect those. And then move these over here. Get rid of that. And then those ones look pretty cool, right? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> now, see that? If you're going to put... No, it doesn't put a line in it at all. Plus, it definitely looks too thin now. I think i got to go back on that. Hmm, something's rotten in Denmark here. I think we'll just go back. Sorry about that, but something didn't feel exactly right. So. so. Alright. Hi, I'm digging it. Now let me just go in here and fix the center. So that was a quick select loop. Yeah. Grab that. Make sure it's in the center. It's not. Boom. That should fix that. Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. Boom. I'm gonna bring all these little pieces out. Let's see where they're at. These ones might be problematic. Which one are you? If you have the symmetry on, it's hard to select. But if you turn it off, you can get them both. And I think there was one hiding down there. No. No. Okay. Okay, so you see these here, that half in, half out. That's because the object underneath is not perfectly flat. So let me just take a look at that real quick. Do, 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 do. Go in here, trying to just grab this row. Turn this off so you can kind of see what you're up to. Now I want to make sure I've just got that selected. Nothing else. Looks like I want to get these too. So we're going to this selection mode here where I'm painting, but I don't want anything. I just want the visible. I don't want to select anything that I can't see. So I'm going to go like that. Now look at the X. It's not flat. Boom. Whoa. Right here. Scale. Flatten that out. Now we could go just do a double check on this guy. Should be flat. But is it flat? Oh no, you know what? We don't want this one to be. Forget that, because that goes into that little corner thing there. So, now this could all be flat, right? And it's not. Boom. Okay, let's see what that does. That helped. Polygon mode. When you want to select multiple objects, gotta be in polygon mode. Boom. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. 
Just gonna check out this, see where I'm at. Now, let's turn all this on, see these. So, what's up with this guy? All right, getting there. Sorry if I get lost in the thought here. I'm trying to blab away as I'm working. Do 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 do. So go like this. Now this seems a little bit small for that there, so I'm kind of wondering about that. So. I'm just gonna adjust that. Just kind of going off of those little beads right here. I figure that's probably about what it wants to be. Now, this object here may benefit also from just flattening out this real quick. So let me just double check. Boom. Just paint this right here. Uh, make sure I didn't get anything. Okay, looks like a good selection. Whoops. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that's flat. See how it's not flat right there? Boom. Just pull it out a little in case it goes into itself. Gazoon tight! Go like this rectangle selection. Boom. Move it in a little. So here we go. Similar problem going on here where you need to make it a cut here so that it's um, not so curved. So let's just give it a shot. Cut, loop, path, cut. I'm try adding one right here. Let's see if that did it. That might have been a little bit too much. All right. Seems pretty decent. Looks like the front's a little out of whack to me as far as the straightness here. So let me try to straighten that out. So you got the Z there. Let's bring it up here. Down here, all kinds of crazy stuff seems to be going on. I think that can be zeroed out, hopefully. a little better now we've got this piece right here that looks like a capsule pretty much so I'm just gonna put that over here Down there now you gotta adjust the height so you just grab this you got a hot hand, uh, hot key there whatever you call it a handle now look that wants to go way up here on this guide so it's interesting I think that looks pretty good. Current state that to an object so I can make it a little bit flatter like that. Okay. 
So let's see. Let's try to go for this handle here. Group and all that. See what my scene. Hide this. Polygon pen tool. Boom. Gonna add a little cut right here, a loop path cut right there, so I can build off of that. Back to the polygon tool. As you can see, I'm just going along here. And, uh, gonna have another cut right here, loop path cut. Uh, about there. Then continue on with the polygon pen. Got to make sure you hit that point because you can put it next to it. But you want it to be connected. So you got to go right on top of it. Okay, something's happening up here. Where it's flattening out. Uh, it's a little deceiving here because this is the edge there, but I'll just have to try to remember that. Okay, so da, 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 da. now we're going to go here and straighten this out a little. You got to add the front to this thing. I think we'll do that by selecting all of these. So I'll select loop and then I'll just get rid of a little bit. Uh, I guess this will work. So I go like that and that. That's the one I want, right? Yeah. So then I hit the hotkey D. Oops. Move that back. No. This is probably the biggest. Figuring out where it goes, but I think that's the widest out piece there, so. Now you take the middle, make sure that's back in there. Zero. Okay, let's take a look at this thing here. Now most of the piece is flat. So let me just put it underneath the smoother and then put under a symmetry boom 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 all right so pretty much that's what it looks like but then it goes up here straight here so I'm gonna add a little cut loop path cut right there and then as it goes up to here eh, that's actually not so bad that comes down. Looks like there might be a little piece that I could put that might make it look better if I go like this. So it's not so straight edged. Grab this and this, and then hit the hockey D, move it down, and then I'm just going to deselect this part, take this part, and move it in. And I'll go and try to curl this up with the points like that, like that. Look at this top piece. It's actually rounded at the end, not square like that. So what we're going to want to do is grab this and this. And just move it like this. Maybe even this as well. Maybe two there. Looks 
a little bit better, but as well, these. Yeah, it's kind of flat, actually. That's onto nothing. Maybe I'll just try to get out of this little jam right here with a smooth. So take that and go to your iron. Move and iron like that. Just just iron up a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's look at it with everything. Let's see if I can make some adjustments. Now this does want to be the widest out piece here, but it's this piece here bumps out. So what we'll do is make a little cut right here. Loop path cut, boom. And then we'll grab this. Like that. Pull it out. Now, I've got to make sure that this is flat. So let me just double check that. Paint the selection. Maybe a good idea to turn off the symmetry there. Alright, take that away. Now, so it's just that now. Is it flat? It is flat. Okay. Sure looks weird, but that's the deal. Okay, so anyway, let's see what it looks like. It's flat, so I should be able to find this piece down here somewhere move it out there we go and see right here want to fix that go to your point mode just bring these two together like this watch with the pinch up here Pretty decent a little poking through here. I mean, you know what I'll do? I'll just go grab this guy and just push it a little. Just tuck it in. <laughs> so this guy looks a little funny down here because he doesn't have any thickness right here and here. So let's give them some thickness right there, right? What do you think? Select loop, loop selection, grabbing this. I'm gonna turn this off so I can see what I'm up to here. I want that, that, basically. The hockey D. Moved it just a little bit. I got my duplicate in there. Slide it in here like that, and then turn off all of this. Slide this back. Now up in here, I'm gonna bridge this right here. That and that. Right click, hit bridge. Connect the two. Now you need to add a little cut. Um, cut, loop path cut. Right there. Then merge those two. You're gonna weld that. You gotta be in point mode. Grab those right there and then weld them. Boom. All right, now I'll turn this on. Now I've got a little bit of an edge anywhere there. All right, let's see. So there's a little square thing down here. Um, let me just take a quick look at these photos. Uh, da, da. So there's a square thing that goes on the back and it wraps around. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And there's part of it down there. So put everything into this null, hide it. Saving the scene. And then I'm going to make this guy. Polygon pen mode. Make sure we're in object mode. Polygon pen. Boop. 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 And go zero all that out. Boom. 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 Ba -ba -da -da. Boop. 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 And then grab this line right here. Hot key D, move it a little bit, move it in there, 
Go to zero. Make sure that these are flat. And the Z they are. Okay. Now we're gonna go in symmetry. Put that in there. Uh, I'm gonna give it thickness by adding a cloth surface. About uh, one point one. So why does that look funny? Let's see. Is this subdivided? Don't want that to be subdivided. That's why. Boom. Hit it with a group and then a bevel. Throw that down in there so it affects it. Boom. Add a little subdivision there to that edge. It's at zero. Put it to three. And there you have it. I think we can live with that. Now let me just look at this thing. It's got a little doohickey right here. So let's add a uh, mesh cut, loop path cut right there. Select this top piece right here. Hit the hockey D, move it up. Hit the hockey D, move it back. I want to make sure you go with all this here. When I did those moves, it'll move it in 3D. So go to your Z, flatten that out. Up here, flatten that out. Now check it out. It shouldn't have any little blemish. Well, I guess it still has a blemish there. What do you, oh, you know what that's from? That's probably that old problem right here, maybe. No. Oh, maybe these aren't on the zero. Let's see. No, that looks good. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that's causing that, but let's see if I change my bevel. No. Hmm. Cloth surface. I'm just trying to go the other way. It doesn't seem to matter. Okay. We'll just live with it for right now. Boom, just turn everything else on. Now the guy's slightly different. It wants to be a little bit wider than that. Let's go in here and grab this. Go to point mode. Grab this edge. Drag it out. Like that. It looks pretty good. G -g 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 -g. Now this has a little dot right here. Again, it's hard to grab those onesie twosies if they're um, what you call it. If the symmetry tool is on, you take and just rotate this guy in the X like this. Ninety, you're looking for, or the Lex Friedman joke, two seventy. <laughs> All right, do 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 do. I'm gonna go zero on X. Whoops, zero on what? This. Wow, they're both of them. I love it when it does that. Let's see. What is your problem? Why are you moving on all two axes when I'm moving you? Because it's rotated weird. Oh, because I added on a 95 instead of 90. See, I'm over here trying to joke around. How's your whole family? All right. That looks about right. Maybe a little bigger. No. I also might want to tuck in forward a little bit. So I'm going to just grab these two things. Move it in to there. Boom. Okay. All right, moving right along here. There's a two little doohickeys on the top as well. So let's grab that, copy it, throw it up here. There's doohickey number one. Rotate that. Zzz. 
the future you'll be working on one of these programs and these gigantic objects will be moving in outer space but you'll just be working on the computer like this the power let's see this is actually a little smoother as it goes down I'm looking at it this little top handle piece let me just see something real quick it's flat here but uh, not quite right here let's see what I can do Never a good idea to to to, uh, <laughs> to try to just make this up. Wow, what the heck? All right, that seems a little bit rounder. Okay. What else do we need? We need kind of like the bottom piece. There's actually a piece way in there that might be kind of cool to get. But let's see. The bottom piece is pretty important here, so let's hone in on that. Let's go up here. I've got it right here. And I'm going to hide everything again. So what I'm always loving to do. Hide everything. Hmm. Okay. So let's try to center this sucker a little bit better. Jesus. It's hard to tell because the front and the back are all locked. Out of whack. Um, 90.5. Yeah, we'll go with that, see what happens. So, let's see. We want to get a big piece right here. So, to be honest with you, I think the easiest way to make this would just be to. Get a plane. Scale it up. Boom, go into object mode, get your handles. Get a handle on it. Get a handle on it, man. Get a handle on it, woman. Boom. All right. Now, my subdivisions, what I'm going to try to do is make some enough subdivisions I can make these objects here, these little holes and stuff I'm thinking. So let's see. It's enough sideways, I think, but up and down, I need more. Let's go for 50. All right, we'll go with that. Now what I'm going to do is hit this current state to an object. Boom. Turn off this grid because my subconscious is going crazy. There we go. Now, there's the first one, right? So let's grab this mode here. Live selection right there. Now actually gonna go a little bigger like this All right hit the hockey eye it's gonna do that then I'm gonna hit this tool down here it says little circle tool this thing is really cool boom makes a circle All right. now let me take that and go into point mode and just grab this part of the circle here and move it over here this part here and move it over here. Now that did some funky looking stuff right there, but I'm going to leave that because it's the shape of the circle. And then what you do is you go look at that thing. All right. Where is it? Right there. Go into this. Hit the hotkey D. And go up like that. Now when you put a nice uh, smoother on, boink, do that and hit that, boom. You got there. You pretty much got that. You got it? You got it. Okay. You got it. Now here, same idea. Saving my scene here as I go on. 
gonna make a big set selection right here. What the heck? Uh, I want to do this one though. Live selection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta make sure I got those all right. Let's see. There's two over here, one over here. So like that. Hitting the hot key. Um, I. Get that down like that, and I'm gonna go to this little circle tool. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. Boom. Now in this instance here, we're gonna hit the hot key. Wait a minute, what the heck is all that? Hang on. Can I select that in there? Or is that all connected? It's all connected, isn't it? So maybe when I did that, um, I should have selected these two. Hang on, I think. Hockey I bring it down. Turn this on so I can see what I'm doing here. So why did those get so close together? I have no idea. Maybe it's my method of hockey I. Now nah, maybe I should just scale it at this point. All right, now I'll try the circle thing. Okay, hockey G. Whoops, went the wrong way. There you are. Ooh, here's a fun one. Okay, so... Hit the hockey eye. Not too much, I guess. Circle tool. Boom. Now this one goes in. Moving right along. We'll just skip the 150. You could put it in there. Um, but I don't want to get into like the volume builder right now. Uh, this guy here. Now look at that. It looks like it's a mirror. So what I'm going to do is, instead of doubling up the work, Try to grab half of it here. Get the old delete button. Maybe that's a... Grab the mirror tool. Grab the mirror tool. Throw it down here. Do, 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 do. And then you got to pick the right axis. It's that one. X, Y. Now bring these closer together so that they fuse. Wants to be at zero. Boink. Oh, you know what? Forget about that. I think it's... No. Zero. That should work. Might just have to turn up this um, value. There we go. It's the fuse value. Okay, so that looks pretty cool to me. Let's see what it looks like in context of this thing. I'm going to drop it down. Like so. Okay. Now let me just take a look at this thing. Not so bad. Okay. So we do want to have some sides on this. So what I'm going to do is loop select this line around it. Let's see if I can get it. Select loop selection. Let's try turning that off. All right, that's really what we want. Hit the hockey D. Move it up. See what it all looks like again. That looks pretty good. I need to make it a little wider, and I think I can get away with scaling it up ever so slowly. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can't, actually. Seems like it does not want to move more, much more than that. There's a similar object in there to this object. So I'm just going to copy this guy, paste him, and I'm gonna flip it around. I need to go this way. Let me just move it back a little.
tuck that in a little bit. Now that looks about right. Now I'm just gonna, you know, the the guides are not CAD drawing, so they're very kind of far off. <laughs> and you run into a lot of situations like so at some point you're kind of taking your artistic rendition of it if it doesn't have to be perfect and you know if somebody's using it in a cartoon or something it doesn't really even matter it's not like it's an engineering feat you know so I've got to either make this whole thing thinner because it does seem actually a little wide to me now at this point so I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do so that it fits with this because that guide might have been clo closer to it, the truth um, so here we go I'm just going to go up here and select these things that I want to move this one and this one and I guess this one. No, but I don't want the parents. I want all of these polygons. That's where the nitty gritty is, the points. So go on here. Now we'll select everything except for the centerpiece, like that. So you got it all. Boom. And we'll go like that. And I'm just going to close this down a little. Like that. Alright, so that's going to affect this guy right here. Oh, so I'm just going to go in there and do this real quick. Okay. Boy, that looks too thin to me. I don't know. Yeah, it's just not that thin. So I'm going to have to go somewhere. Oh, you know, I would not have really wanted these to be selected anyway. Right here. So, let's see. Let's try that again just a little bit, maybe. There we go. Okay. Then we'll go and we'll just tuck this guy in right here. Whoops. I did have the right one. Like so. Boom. Alright. Not so bad. I think it might help if I have a little edge right here. Like this. And then I'm going to select that edge. Turn off this so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And I'm going to grab this. That has an edge. But this here doesn't. So, maybe it would help if I just grab that one too. Do, 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 do. There we go. Grabbing all that. Um, now, hit the hotkey D. Move it a little bit. Now, let's see if I can do this. I want to move this down to here. Right, and get rid of this selection here, the selection here, move these out, then go into point mode, grab that, and move it up to the zero. <laughs> okay, let's see if I like that better. You know, now really what I could do as well is I could just do another one of those real quick. Select loop. That. This. Let me hide everything but this guy. So you show this. Put everything underneath this one null right here and hide them all. But I can still see this one. But a little clearer. I just want to make sure I had that selected right there. Okay. Hit the hotkey D. Boom. Now let's take a look at everything. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that looks a little bit better, I guess. Okay. So. Did see a little uh, object in there. 
Now let me see if I have that. I'm gonna hit the uh, I'm gonna save this, make a new scene. Just gonna go down to this front window right here, grab one that shows me a photograph inside that thing. Do I have any idea right there? Boom. And I'll just rotate this. Like that, I'm gonna move it over. And that's the object I'm looking to make right there. It's a little cocked, but let's see if I can get it. So, start off. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. This sets, this thing here is gonna be a little bit complex, but really just need to get something in there in case anybody looks. So, let's grab cube put it right here scale that down like that I'm gonna go here and lift it up go to this mode make it thinner boom then I'm gonna grab a couple of cylinders There with that, scale it down a little bit, get the diameter the correct size to match that guide. Rotate that 90, copy and paste it, move it up here. Now group these two cylinders, create a Boolean, drag and drop that underneath. You may need to rearrange this like that to get it to work right. Boom, you can hit a connector like this, drop that in there, and then you can hit a remesh right here boom and the remesh I might want to turn up let's see 200 hmm does it need to be connected? yeah it needs to be connected <laughs> oh, I think I might have forgot a hypernerve. Let's see. That was it. Now I go down here to this guy. Subdivide him a little bit more. Actually, not so bad. Let's see. Select everything, connect objects, and delete. Uh, let me just add a cut right here. Cut, loop path, cut. I gotta be on this guy. Cut, loop path, cut. I just wanna straighten that. Oh boy, it really doesn't like that much at all. So, you can do it a different way with a uh, line cut like this. Visible only, turn off. Let's see if that did it for me. Eh, I guess it's close enough. This piece isn't going to be seen too much, so. I'm trying to go fast, but sometimes you try to go fast, it just ends up being a little bit sloppy, but. So we got that. This piece here and this piece here. This is almost like turn on my shading so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Wireframe can be good for some stuff, but um, shading sometimes is helpful. So I'm going like this. Rotate this guy, and then make it taller. I guess. Whoops. A little wider. Subdivide this uh, one, one three times on the Y. Current state to an object. Then when I'm going in here, whoops, the Y was wrong. It's three times on the. What the heck is it? Let me look at this. Three times on the Z. Alright, is that right? Boom. Yeah, there we go. And then uh, I wanted to get this polygon right here. Boom, hit the hockey D, get that over there. Go to the zero mark of the scene and see if that works. Nope. Um, over here. You see, because the null of this object is not at the zero, 
it doesn't know what to do. So if I go like this, put that at the zero. Then when I'm in this mode and I say put it to zero, now that's the new zero. Okay, so this can rotate, symmetry, boom. That can be put into a bevel. Increase this tolerance, 0.1. Turn the bevel, maybe add three. Uh, that looks okay. Now it looks like there's some kind of... Um, it almost looks like a, an object that's like this. It's like a cylinder. Thin. Uh, where's my handle? So like thin like this. Don't need so many subdivisions here. I'm going to go zero. Mm. Let's see. So I'll rotate this sideways. Boom. Wants to be a little thinner. Put that about up over here. I'll rotate this way. Make it a little smaller. Now I'm kind of just imagining what I what I suppose this thing looks like. Up here. This piece is rotated a little bit opposite. It's hard to tell, but I really want it to be like this. Whoops. Can't have the null mode on. Really want it to be like this, I think. Oh, you know what? No, it's just my brain. My brain flip flops that. So I guess this is okay. Let's try to adjust my brain here. Do it. So it goes like this. This is going to be a little smaller, I think. Like so. And then maybe drops down to, say, here. Uh, it comes over to the inside of this one. Now, current state that to an object, like that. I'm going to grab these right here, and I'm going to straighten them out. So, like this, this. And I want faces. I don't, I don't want these side ones, though. I just want these ones. Let's see. I guess I need to get the whole half, right? Oh, and it's this way. I want to get these ones. All right. One more there, or one more there. Okay, let's try that. Hockey D, just a little bit. And then move them all up here. Boom, to that middle one like that. Now, I guess this thing maybe is supposed to be smaller. Not quite sure. I'm just going to make it up. Just for the sake of kind of getting it over with. So, we'll go up to here with all these, tuck them in, um, hide them in here, like that, let's see, is that correct, I don't know what the heck that point is, uh, if you want to clean that up, you could take the null, rotate it like this, right? Go into scale mode, get out of there, and then go like that. So let's just see if that works. Do, 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 do. Yeah, pretty much. Mirror that guy. Alright. Oh, where's the mirror? Oh, that wasn't a mirror. I'll just mirror him over here. His own mirror. Boom. Okay. Now, there's some kind of a. see where's his axes is that still in the middle of the cylinder yeah it is okay so I'm just gonna piggyback that zero out this as long as I'm in object mode it should put me in the right spot like this all right now I'm just gonna lift that out of there because I don't need it in there zero it out on the X and this pole comes across like that it's maybe a little bit thinner now we've got the same structure here, but on the other side. So I'll take these, this and this, group it, copy, paste, and flip it. I want to move my null, though, so that the point which I'm flipping it about is up here. Got to be in transition mode to do that. Whoops, but make sure you're in null mode. Come up to here. I will go there. It seems as good spot as anything like this. Boom. Now that should be flat like that or so, right? Okay. And you got that piece there. Goes in front of that. Right. Yeah. 
hard for me to tell what the heck else is really going on there. There's a couple of things on the side there, but we'll just do that. Hide that in there. Group it. Boom. Copy that. Come in here. Back to the master scene. Paste that in there. It's really pretty big, so we're going to scale that down. And place it in there. Let's see what we got. Now what if I got it backwards? Yeah. Take this here, flip it around. Boom, boom, boom. Up there like that. Boom. Ba boom 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 ba 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 boom. Ba 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 boom. There we go. I don't even really know if it if it matters if it's like perfect because it's just if you happen to catch it as you're going by like that. So I think we're cool. I think we're good to go ahead and put a texture on this and call it a day. So I'm going to save this, put everything under one group here. We'll call it um, Staple Gun. Copy it. Got to be in object mode to copy that. So I'll copy that. Go into my latest rendered scene, this phaser pedal. You can check that uh, description. If you want to see the phaser one I did last, I'll put the description in the video. It'll take you right to the phaser video if you click on it. So let's see, boom. Here's the phaser. Paste this gun in. Whoops. Now I want to be, I want to grab a material. It's all got this one big Chrome material, so it's pretty easy. Asset browser, punch in Chrome. Grab the Chrome. And then just drag and drop that right on there. If you've got a previous scene, you've got a lot of other stuff after you delete it, just do delete unused materials like that. Boom, 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 boom. All right, move them over here. Check out this render setting, global illumination, turn it on, put it on default. Okay. Make a instance of this, and then I'll check render instance, like so. We got a couple of different angles going here. Okay. Whoopsie daisy. If I get them, select them all and hit S, it should put them in the frame for me. Okay, let's see if I get lucky and the render looks pretty good. Thank you very much for watching. This has been uh, How to 3D Model a Staple Gun. If you have an idea for a 3D model you'd like to see me create in Cinema 4D R26, just post a comment. Send me an email, jasonchambers at gmail.com. I spell my name with an E, so J-A-S-E-N, Chambers. And if you have a real-world project you'd like me to work on, my rate is sixty-seven fifty per hour. I'd be happy to talk with you about your 3D modeling project. And, uh, yeah, just reach out to me. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.